this time I want to show you uh, more about the Arduino communicating using the Modbus protocol. Uh, but this time I want to present to you a custom made application using Visual C Sharp, uh, which is so convenient because you don't have to pay uh, any license or anything. There's a whole bunch of free. Uh, public licensed uh, visual libraries that you can implement in uh, Visual Basic or uh, Visual C Sharp. Uh, so I decided to use Visual C since uh, Arduino on microchip both are coded in kind of C. So it makes a lot more sense to uh, keep everything under C uh, language programming so basically this here is an Arduino Nano on which I've connected a uh, little LED on pin 9 and it'll potentiometer connected to analog input 0 and it's loaded with a simple sketch from which you can also download the free Arduino libraries for simple Modbus slave. So the uh, simple Modbus slave is also a free library because Arduino is an open source project so a lot of its libraries are open source. And uh, it makes it so convenient. So the simple sketch really all it does is um, simple slave and I'm using this nano here. Uh, it's named RS45 because I was using my RS485 to USB converter and then using RS485 to TTL converters to uh, communicate using the industrial uh, art um, equivalent of RS-485. So RS-485 and RS-232 and RS-422 are the electrical definitions, not the actual protocol. So people mistakenly call RS-485 or RS-232 a protocol. So an, ethern an Ethernet cable or connection is not by itself a protocol. RS-232 RS is not by itself a protocol. Even USB is not a protocol. You can connect a keyboard or a mouse to it and then you'll be using a HID uh, communication method or you can connect an Arduino or a RS to USB uh, converter and thus that becomes a serial port so it becomes a CDC uh, so these are electrical connections there are no protocols there are ports and whatever software layer you add to it that handles the flow of information that interprets that interprets the uh, understands and Let's say decodes the message and realizes a function with that information that is a protocol so inside of every Arduino there's a firmware a bootloader that communicates and creates a serial port connection through USB and um, also you load an sketch so you have the loader that communicates with the Arduino IDE and then you load in an sketch which is basically a compile uh, binary file that the bootloader executes. So compared to uh, a microchip controller, which uh, they don't, they do not come with uh, bootloaders installed within them. Um, you virtually creating a whole uh, pr running program on them. So you can more efficiently manage the memory. 
So if you're using MPLAF-X and you buy the Pro licenses for XZ8 and XZ16, you will be um, optimizing your code, meaning that your, your compile code will be much smaller than with the free version and thus, and thus you will be uh, able to use more of its memory and make even larger programs. So differences between an Arduino uh, board and a custom made microchip uh, board like this is that uh, basically it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't count with a USB support not all uh, microchips have uh, USB support actually at 80 mega it doesn't have a USB port there is a chip underneath this that handles the USB communication there's a sealed port and there's a, a TTL to um, USB converter that communicates the USB to the Arduino. In this case I have a serial communication but I have this uh, in circuit serial programming port here that I can connect the Picket 2 um, programmer to so I have to remove the PIC so I have all my microchip boards are like that they have a uh, in serial in circuit serial programming and um, serial port so the next step is after I master the Modbus protocol, I will migrate the uh, libraries from Modbus, uh, from Arduino to Microchip and try to communicate this as well. But anyway, uh, this is a later project. Um, right now, the next stage I did it was after I tweaked this little Arduino uh, sketch using simple mod slave I'm just sending a few register one register and reading up another register so basically it's all it's doing it's just using uh, reading one register and updating the other one it's just reading analog input so I'm reading an analog digital converter value and outputting a pulse width modulator value so I can write a register from the Visual Studio uh, C Sharp uh, application and read an analog and write to an analog output in pulse width modulation mode so that being said that has been downloaded already to the Arduino so no need for that um, here, I, I just installed M M MPLAB X on this computer. So, let me close that. Um, so, Visual Studio C Sharp, which is a free, uh, the Express Edition is free. This is version 2008, um, the libraries that I downloaded. Um, they all use uh, Microsoft.NET framework. So, I'm now uh, exploring a whole new world. I mean, I was programming basic a lot and moving into C again, like I, do, I used to do in college, it's actually refreshing because um, <coughs> I used to program in Borland C, Turbo C++ a lot, and it's more powerful than basic. So in this case, you have a pre-compiled library that you can download here you add it as a reference it's called short bus so it's a fully functional Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP IP that comes with a PDF file that you can read out and understand so um, here's a file it's a help file with some examples of coding so that is um, you can make it a master you can make it into a slave so I guess nobody uses those terminologies anymore because of those being racist a master is what controls a slave so a slave responds every time a master uh, pulls it or asks for information so I guess they changed their terminology to client so the master is a client 
and the slave is a server or a servant. So it's pretty much the same thing. Isn't there are euphemisms basically? You have one program or one uh, controller asking information from another, but the master or client are always in control. They decide when and to which uh, slave they want to ask information from. But this is not social uh, science. This is electronics and computing. So there is no inherent racism in here. So I guess that master and client are the same thing and slave and server are the same or servant. Anyway, that is some philosoph philosophical uh, BS that I don't want to deal with. Okay, so let me close the Arduino mm, sketches here. I don't need to run it. I guess it's already run. Compile and upload it into the Arduino Nano there. So, uh, the coding, so you include that into the references. And uh, you have uh, your, your form design, you add some buttons, some text boxes, um, and then you write your code. And basically, this is a program C, but the actual coding is here in the program, uh, in the form one dot designer, CS, C sharp. And um, it's very simple since the library handles all the uh, uh, the complex, uh, sorry about that, this is the one, and handles all the uh, complex communications. You just have to deal with uh, setting up the port, bout rate, the port number, um, and I do also some uh, color changing status of some fields indicating that there's a connection, there's an error. So that being said, let me show you that running. So first, first thing to notice here is that you need to know which port address, port number your um, your Arduino is connected to. So in this case, um, you can find out using device manager. I just made a shortcut here in the desktop. Instead of navigating to control panel and all that crap, so I just have a shortcut here. It's on port three. That's your Arduino uh, Nano, and so I already have by default loaded three in that. When the form loads, it writes uh, a unsigned um, uh, short integer, sixteen bit. Uh, value into that, so that's number three. So all I have to do is connect, and I can write to the register. She right now this LED here, it's off. You can tell it's off, and if I write value to it, so I can just type here. Let's say uh, 32. It will go to from zero to 255. So whenever I write a value there, no response or error. See, you got that. I did not click, click on connect. So I need to connect to it. Is this connected? Oh, I think I'm on the wrong port. Let me find out. I didn't, because I'm looking through the camera here. So that's working, because it told me there's no response. Let me see which port. The Arduino is connected to COM port 3. It is on port 3. Yeah, so it should work. Okay. There it is. I didn't press on connect. All right, so now it's connected. There's no error in the error message box. And the LED, it's glowing I can write zero let me just put this above here so you can all guys see it at once so if I write another value here like say um, let's write um, 355 
and I write a value to it. That glows brighter. If I write, uh, let's say, here, 125. 127, sorry. This is an it bit it's an eight bit uh, register that you are looking there. So 127. Ah, oh, sorry, I gotta click in here. So that should grow glow a little dimmer. There it is. And I can also um, enable cyclic read uh, from your register. So um, I can read so it's reading 4001 was it's actually uh, I'm writing that yeah on there so it's uh, the analog uh, input on the Arduino A0 has been uh, transferred using most protocol to this text box so that's zero right there so if I change those it will go higher there so it's great because this is error free there is cyclic redundancy checking means that every time there is a package sent like right now there is a timer um, see every every half a second the package is transmitted once you enable this this is going to be pulling this is a master it's going to be pulling twice a second this Arduino Nano so if for some reason you press like the reset button here you're gonna get a error there because that did not respond see but of course the Arduino immediately goes up and loads it restarts and reloads it's a sketch so it goes back into running mode but it's important to remark that you got error detection using Modbus and a lot of devices communicate through Modbus so here I'm testing the Arduino sketch and my C programming uh, application so I can either communicate with a PLC and make my own HMI using uh, Visual C, inexpensive. I don't have to buy Wonderware or um, uh, WinCC or Simplicity. I can design, custom made, cheap, I mean virtually cost-free applications, HMI, SCADAS, using Visual C uh, Sharp. And I can communicate to a to a simple, or even I can make. I'm a, I'm. I was thinking of making a variable frequency drive. I have a lot of uh, IGBT models, and I designed those in the past. So all I have to do is decide a variable frequency drive, and then include the Modbus library, and I then can control a variable frequency drive using Modbus Plus. I mean Modbus RTU. So. It's, uh, it's promising what I'm doing here and I hope you guys enjoyed it and the next video is going to be about Modbus uh, TCP which is Modbus over TCP IP which is even cooler because you can have a huge number of slaves and you can use normal Ethernet wiring and it's also free you can have Arduinos uh, loaded with uh, TCP sketches all you have to do is buy one of those also inexpensive um, Ethernet shields like this one here the um, um, wait, it's upside down sorry yeah this one hand run uh, I think it's very common you can find them on eBay uh, I, I brought this from Mexico Anyway, I'm going to show the next video is going to be about that communicating over TCP IP to also a Visual C application. So, there you have it. Thumbs up if you liked the video and stay tuned for the next one. Bye for now.